okay, so what is geocaching? Whenever I have people ask me what is geocaching, usually it's one of two trains of thought. Either people think that it's with GPS units, or I have somebody that thinks that we're going to go out and bust rocks with a hammer. It's a high-tech treasure hunt using GPS units. My name is Jim Henning. I'm resource naturalist for the Dorothy Pico Nature Center and Woodbury County Conservation Board. Uh, today what we're doing is we're going to be learning about geocaching. One of the biggest things I think that that this is really able to do is that a lot of our kids these days are very tied into technology and I think that the geocaching programs really um, let us tie that technology into actually getting people outside. You know the kids can see that they can use this smartphone or GPS unit or, or you know whatever they're using to actually go out and find something outside. We are the Albertsons and we're from Elk Point. First names? Robert. Emily. Gunner. Gunner, why'd you guys come today for the geocaching? Saw it advertised in the paper, so we took the advantage of finding out what it's all about. And you've had success then finding some yep. items? Yeah. We got one so far. So it's not that difficult? Man. It's just paying attention to the GPS, making sure you don't go too far. I'm the one who found it. <laughs> making sure you don't go too far on the numbers. We're going to be looking at right here. This is exactly what we're going to be looking at. These two sets of numbers. And those two sets of numbers, if you line them up, they will tell you exactly where you are on the map. Uh, today what we're going to be looking for, and I'm going to grab one of these geocaches here. Uh, today what we're going to be looking for are geocaches, and I don't know how, how this high? Okay. We're going to be looking for geocaches that are typically like this. This is a traditional geocache hidden in an ammo box. And uh, some of the things that people find in these geocaches, what happens is you go on a website and you can list the geocache and, and so someone can go onto the website and they say, oh, I'm going to go find this geocache at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center. And then when they come find the geocache, they'll reach in and they'll find something that's got usually a little notebook so they can sign and say, hey, these, me and my friends were here at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center and we found this geocache and to prove it we left our names. And then usually in each geocache there is a box or a bag of little goodies and in here we've got magnets and pencils and pens and things like that. And generally the rule of thumb is, is if you go geocaching and you find something and you take something from the geocache, you're supposed to leave something behind. But the way we're doing it today, just as fun here at the Nature Center, we're going to go out and find geocaches and then they can just take something and they don't have to leave anything. Well, um, we came out here today. It's something I've been wanting to do with the family for a while because the kids have been, I think in today's society, the kids are too involved in uh, screens, you know, with the Xbox or the Wii or whatever it is you have. And this is a good way to get them outside. Tell us when you get to 68. Hunter, you watch and make sure it doesn't step anything. You, you got it. And keep them interested the whole time, and yet at the same time, utilize it, the technology that we actually need the kids to understand and know how to use because our future relies on it. So it's an organized activity where I know that they're safe and we're getting outside, and they enjoy the hiking at the same time, but they know that they're focused on a goal, and that helps me keep them entertained all the time. 